the anarchs or the formless depths are all. Now, what does it do? This monster soul, the monster soul, you have got the anarchs or the formless depths arose. Formless depths, because it's a void, so there is no form there at all. From that, constantly the anarchs are arising. Constantly the anarchs are arising. And as the advocates of hostility and uh, our division of confusion, that the uh, advocates of them, you see. What are unknown? Huh? What are unknown? Unknown. Anarch, advocates of uh, uh, separation, division. Let me give the exact meaning. Advocates of anarchy, leaders of revolt. Leaders of report, Anarchs. See, he puts a capital A, Anarchs. Leaders of report. So, revolt, revolt against whom? Against any divi divine intrusion into the place. Any divine intrusion into their world, they will revolt, they will resist, they will not allow it to enter in at all. They are the Anarchs. So, we are going to see them falsehood, evil, sin, all these are the parts of the anarchy or that kind of thing, you see. The fallen angel, they are the parts of it. Demons, Vishachas, Rakshasas, Asuras, they are all of that part of it, you see. In the Greek mythology, you have got demons, you have got giants, you have got titans, you see, the three. Demons, Vishachas. Rakshasas, Jains, Titans, Asuras. Asuras are mental beings. Jains are vital beings. Demons are vital physical. Vital physical. Coming from the inconscience. Coming from the inconscience. They are the Anarchs. They are the Anarchs. From the physical, from the vital, from the mental, rising in revolt against the divine. Rising in the world against the divine. The anas, the formless depths arose, formless depths, formless because it is a void. Great titan being. Well, he says titan beings and demonia powers. You see, his name both, you see. Asuras and Vishachas, his name here. Titan beings and demonia powers. World goes racked with lust and thought and will. Racked with lust and thought and will. Lust for the vital thought, for the mental will, for the physical. So these world egos are of these three kinds, vital, mental, physical. Lust and thought and will, world egos, racked. So world egos, swandi, lost, tracked, I am, with lust I am, and thought I am, and will I am. World egos, first foot is swandi, ego, world egos, racked, with lust and thought and will, practically a monosyllabic line, you see, world egos, racked with lust and thought and will. So it becomes very forceful also, insistent, the monosyllabic. Vast minds and lives without a spirit within. Vast minds and lives. Vast minds, asuras, lives. Rakshasas with lust, with, without a spirit within. Vast minds and lives without a spirit within. So these are the Anarchs. He is describing now the Anarchs. You be prepared now <laughs> to meet them <laughs> in this section, you see. Impatient architects of Eros house. So they are the one who have built the Eros house. What is the error? What is the error? The error is to deviate away from the divine path, from the path of truth. That is the error. From the path of truth, to deviate from that. Impatient architects of Eros house. Leaders of the cosmic ignorance and under. So they are the Anna. So the whole complete description is there of Jana. And sponsors of sorrow and mortality. Embodied the dark ideas of the abyss. The abyss has dark ideas and they are embodying those dark ideas of the abyss. Who? 
these anodes. <laughs> these are what a description, complete description is there, 61.5. The anodes, the formless depths arose, great titan brains and demonic power, world ego racked with lust and thought and will. Vast mind, vast mind, spotty and lives. I am without, I am a spare, I am writ within. Anapist, impatient architects of errors, how leaders the cosmic ignorance and unrest, and sponsors of sorrow and mortality, sponsors of sorrow and mortality, Mrityu. It is they who are sponsoring, you see, because of them, this mortality is there, embodied the dark ideas of the being. So, what is the strength, what is the notion, what is the conception? The idea of the abyss. The idea, abyss has that idea of destruction, of opposing anything which would be coming as from the divine. You see. The shadow substance into emptiness came. So, Actually, there is a substantial material presence is there, but it is a shadow of darkness. Into emptiness, into emptiness, that void. Okay. Dim forms are born in the unthinking void. So that is the first creation out of the void. Out of the void, the material forms are arising, but then they are shadow substance, darkness substance, substance of darkness, dark matter. Well, not the dark matter of <laughs> astrophysics, but real dark matter into emptiness came, emptiness in that void. Well, that itself is an advance. From the void that there are forms arising is a great step forward. Maybe those forms are divisive, those forms are anti-divine, but the void has brought out something is a great advance in the process of evolution. The evolution begins with that. <laughs> that begins, it's a great advance, you see. Otherwise, what do you do with the void, you see? Dim forms are born, the unthinking void, and it is met, made, and that was fame, in whose black folds being imagined hell. Black folds, in whose black folds being imagined hell. The supreme being who is there, he is imagining hell there. Now. Made in adverse space, adverse which is not conducive for the divine work, which will oppose anything which is happening here. So it is a kind of a slippery ground. If you walk on the ground in a slippery, you will fall into the pit, into the abyss constantly, you see, and endless met and made an adverse phase, in whose black folds, black folds one above the other, being imagined hell. His eyes imagined. Is it just an imagination? No, it is a reality actually. It is a fact. He sees all that thing happening there, you see. And you know, back home being imagined there. His eyes, his, of course, Ashwapatis, the yogi, the discoverer. His eyes piercing the triple plated gloom, triple plated gloom, triple plated gloom, triple. The word triple appears how many times in Savitri? Let me see if, if I got. Well, I don't think I, I have counted them. Maybe somewhere there, there. okay, we we'll see that thing. <laughs> Triple appears quite often in Savitri, see. It doesn't appear here. Triple plated gloom. His eyes and piercing. The ductile. His eyes piercing. Ductile. The trip. I am. Plate. I am. I am. So, the second foot is a ductile. Other foods are ams. His eyes piercing the triple plated gloom and see the alliteration of the line piercing triple plated and of course L triple gloom. His eyes pierce. Now, what is the triple plated gloom? This is of course a gloom, all right. He has already described triple plated of lust and thought and will. The vital, the mental, the physical, that is the triple plated gloom of lust and thought and will. Triple plated gloom. It means it is not really real. 
It is a kind of a coating, you see, in a certain sense. Yeah. Triple plated globe. What a phrase, triple plated. And this line is very beautiful poetically. His eyes piercing the triple plated globe. You saw one kind of reverberating sound, you know, if you read again and again. It's a very, very dark kind of a line, giving a dark description, but the rhythm is absolutely beautiful, very powerful. His eyes piercing the triple plated globe, identifying the side with its blind stare, blind, its of that globe. Blind stare, accustomed to the unnatural dark. They saw unreality made real and conscious night. They, those anarchs, they saw unreality made real and conscious night. They saw night for themselves as conscious night, you see. A violent, fierce and formidable world. Well, that is the nature of the situation. A violent, fierce and formidable world. An ancient womb of huge kilometers of dreams. <laughs> so it is coming out from that womb, kilometers of dreams. Coil like a larva in the obscurity that keeps its form, the spear points of heaven star. Larva, it is about to come out from the scene, but that larva is always coiled, small little insect, you see, about to come out. Coil like a larva in the obscurity, what? It is like an obscurity that keeps, that obscurity which keeps the spear points of heaven stars away from them. Obscurity keeps away your sight from the spear points of heaven's stars, you see, that obscurity. Coil, like a larva in the obscurity, obscurity that keeps it from the spear, you see. It, larva, that keeps it from the spear points of heaven's Spear points, spear points, it may go and pierce you, you see, spear, you see. Therefore, that obscurity is protecting this larva from that thing. Spear point of heaven's star, heaven's star, the stars of the night, heaven's star. Now, this is a general image of the stars of the night and the guardians of the night holding spears in their hand. The stars are holding spears. They are the angels of the night, in the night, standing against any evil coming out, you see. And therefore the spear point, so they are holding, the stars are holding spears in that case, you see. Now all these hostile people, all these hostile people, against them in the night, the stars are holding the spear of God in their hand, so that they would not do any harm, you see. So this is, this is the general uh, 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 association on the spear points of heaven's stars, you see. It was the gate of false infinite, that whole passage, that infinite. And eternity, your disastrous absolute, <laughs> disastrous absolute, an immense negation of spiritual thing, an immense negation. It cannot stand there at all. No, no, no place for spirituality at all there. The spirit cannot exist here. It was the gate of false infinite. And what? A violent, fierce, formidable world. That it stands for that formidable world. A violent, fierce, and formidable world. It was the gate of a false infinite. And eternity, your disasters, absolute, and immense negation of spiritual. At once, all once. Self luminous in the spirit sphere, all one self luminous in the spirit luminous sphere. An ancient womb of huge calamitous dream. Who is that womb? That womb is that formidable world, fierce and formidable world. Fierce and formidable world is the womb of calamitous dreams. These calamitous dreams come out from that fierce and formidable world. Fierce and formidable world. 
it was the gate of false and penal and eternity your disasters absolute and imagination of spiritual thing 